Hi guys, welcome to art class this wonderful Thursday. We are going to be making something awesome for Mother's Day. Um, and of course, Mother's Day is also for grandmas. So you can make it for a mom, you can make it for grandma, whoever you want. Um, but because this is for Mother's Day, if you have someone else who can help you with your art project besides mom today, that would be awesome since, you know, it's a present for them. So um, if you have like dad or grandpa, brother, sister, whatever, um, that would be awesome if they could help you out today. Um, what you're gonna need is a piece of paper, okay? And you'll fold your piece of paper to be a card. Um, this is gonna be a card for my mom for Mother's Day. And we're going to be decorating the front of our card, okay? You'll also need a cup of water and some paints. I've got lots of different colors here to use for my art project. If you do not have paints, don't worry. You can use other art supplies. So gather whatever you've got um, and we'll just get right into it. So like I said, you'll fold your piece of paper in half. If you have stronger paper, um, like cardstock or something, that's best, but you can definitely just use a normal piece of paper. You can use a colored piece of paper, whatever you want. So you've got it folded in half so that we're decorating the front of the card and you'll write your message on the inside. And the first thing you'll do is cut out um, from a different piece of paper, a heart. And um, what we're going to be doing is taping this on the card and we're going to be decorating out on the rest of the card and then at the end we will untape the heart and there will be a blank space where we did not color or paint and it will be a heart um, and there will be a pattern everywhere else so um you cut out your heart that will go in the middle of your card and so you'll also need tape um, so I've got my pieces of tape here and let me see if I can get this better, a better view. There we go. Okay. So I've got my, um, my heart and I'm going to tape it down. I'm going to be kind of gentle when I'm taping it down because like I said, we're going to be taking the heart back off at the end. So you don't want it. You definitely do not want to glue it down, um, but you want to be really gentle with the tape so that it doesn't get stuck on there too hard, right? Okay. So I have taped my heart and I'm going to stick it here in the middle of my card. And my heart actually, it um, is the backside of like something else that I'd printed out and don't need anymore. So that's why it has stuff on it. But you're gonna just tape it down in the middle and we'll take it off at the end. Now, what I'm going to do and what maybe you would like to do, and of course this is art, so it's all up to you what you do really. Um, but I'm just giving ideas. So what I'm gonna do with my paints is I'm going to paint my thumb and I'm going to do a bunch of thumbprints everywhere different colors so it's going to be a pattern of my thumbprint in different colors um so i'll show you i'm getting some paint here painting my thumb painting it blue and voila there is my first thumbprint now i'm going to do a bunch of thumbprints everywhere right and it's actually best if you don't put paint on your finger every single time that you do a thumbprint because as the paint um, kind of dries from your thumb, it will make a cooler thumbprint. Okay. And I'm just gonna keep going with blue before I switch colors. Okay, so I am done with blue now and I made that many thumbprints and now I, since I did a lot of blue, I'm going to wash off my paintbrush in my cup of water. Ooh, almost spilled it. Okay, I have a dry thumb. I'm gonna wipe off my paintbrush to make sure that all the blue is gone. And I'm switching to a new color. 
So I think I'll do green next. Goodbye blue, hello green. Okay, so there's all my green thumbprints. Now I'm gonna switch colors again. And I'm just gonna keep on switching colors. So next is pink, and then I'm gonna do kind of red, purple, and yellow. Now, what I'm gonna do as I start getting a lot of thumbprints is I'm going to actually, um, you can kind of see my heart still right here. I'm actually painting, like putting my thumbprints even over the heart because um, I wanna cover every single white spot on this page because then when I take the heart off, it will be a fully blank, nice heart. If you don't cover the whole space, then it won't really look like a heart so much. So you wanna cover everything in thumbprints, okay? Also, if you are not using paints, then you're just creating a design all over your paper, just make sure you cover all the white. But with whatever supplies you're using, whatever art supplies, you're just covering the whole thing with a nice design, a nice picture, any way that you want. All right, guys, I have filled up every space on this card. I'll show you, kinda wet. Okay, I filled up every spot with my thumbprints and you can see it doesn't really look like there's a heart right there right now, but when I take it off, we will find out. Um, it's best if you wait for your paints to dry. Um, wait for it to dry so that you don't kind of ruin it as you take off the heart, okay? I'm going to be very gentle so that I don't rip the page. You might want a little help with this part from someone who is nearby and can help you. Ooh, it looks cool, guys. I'm excited to show you. Okay, take off my the rest of my tape. Oof. Be really gentle. All right. Are you ready to see my final project? Boom! See that awesome heart right there in the middle? Surrounded by all my thumbprints. Your mom is gonna love it. You can leave it just like this. I think I will leave mine. Um, if you want to write a message in there, you could write mom. Actually, that's a good idea. I think I will get a Sharpie. Well, apparently I don't have a Sharpie, but I do have a white erase marker. So I'm gonna write in the middle of my heart, M O. Them. But there we go, mom. And inside of your card, you can write whatever you want. A nice little message to tell your mom how much you love her. So happy Mother's Day um, to your mothers. And I hope you enjoy doing this art project. Make sure that you send your teacher a picture of the completed project. We love to see what you guys are doing at home. Okay, bye.